Hello, folks. It is time for more Fatal Frame. Let's see what we can do here. Get everything started. How's everyone? How's everyone doing today? Good, I hope. <laughs> Hi, Narik. Welcome. All right, let's get let's get started. Oh no, my my controller. Is my controller not working? Controller needs to be rebound. That's good that I noticed that. Uh, let me just do that really quickly. Every once in a while this happens, just gotta unplug the controller, plug it back in. I should be ready to go. Sorry about that. That's kind of odd. <laughs> I was not intending for that to, to function that way, but we should be good. There we go. That's much better. Let's get started, everyone. All right. Where was I? Where did I leave off? Is there anything in here? Have I already checked in here before? I think I have. Okay. Let's go. A cutscene? It's kind of uncanny. Miku, that song. Oh, Ray, good morning. That song? I don't remember exactly where I heard it, but I feel like I've been hearing it in my dreams lately. I don't have any idea what the lyrics mean. Could it be some sort of dialect? Dreams. Girl who works as my assistant, the song she was singing was the lullaby I heard inside that manor. Is Miku having the same dreams as me? She lost a relative, someone close. Is that who she sees in her dreams? Just like me. The doll room. <clears throat> in the small room where I heard the lullaby, uh, red dolls were nailed to the walls. Inside was one of the girls dressed as shrine maidens who tried to impale me in my daydream. Who is she and what was she doing there? The snake bruise. Every time I dream of the house, the snake-like tattoo gets bigger. The stabbing pain is worse every day. If things carry on like this, it will eventually cover my whole body. And then, the dreams, the manner, what do they mean? How can I escape? Miku was singing the same lullaby I heard inside the manor. She says she heard the song in her dream too. Has she been having the same dreams? Is she being lured into the house too? Just like Lochi no Takigawa and me? Oh yeah, we have a uh, we have film to 
to get, don't we? Or film to develop, I should say, because we took we took it out of the the camera before we saved. Who sat to cry says, "What do you think about the game so far?" Uh, I like it a lot more than I like the uh, first game. Uh, I like it uh, uh, maybe a little bit more than the second game as well so far. I think it's it's really interesting. Letter from K3. Dear you, I'm sending you a testimony tape I just found about the urban legend. If I give it to you, I know you'll take good care of it. I found several other tapes, but they're quite old. Having been dubbed by a gramophone, they're damaged. I'm trying to get them restored now. I'll send them to you when they're done. Lately, I've been solely researching folklore, legends, folk tales, and folk religion. That was both your and Mafuyu's field, wasn't it? It's an interesting world, but I don't want to get too deep into it. How is Mafuyu's sister? Her name was Miku, right? I'm searching everywhere I can, but I still don't know Junsei Takamine's whereabouts. Maybe he was spirited away too? If you've got anything, let me know. Mio's health is not good, so I put her in the hospital. She only wakes once every two days, then for only a couple hours at a time. I've got to hurry with my research. Regards, Kei Amakura. Interesting. So I wonder if Mio died. Or if she was turned to ghosts. Yeah, that's Mio, alright. I I enjoy how uh, this game is, you know, following up on the plot threads of the first uh, two games in, like, a really tangible way. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, I think that it elevates that material a little bit as well because the... Uh, I think the first game's story is not actually very good <laughs> or interesting. Um, and I think the second game has a much better story and is much more cool but it, it because the first game was so unrelated feeling um aside from like the the just like light canon connections it felt really separate whereas this game connects them in a way that makes them feel like they're actually building like a, a full arc here that that's coming full circle so i really like that aspect i think it's really cool gwen says hi hi gwen welcome Hey, Kettle. Welcome. Looks like the skewed red dolls in the courtyard with the sacred tree. Maybe it's some kind of religious ritual. Oh, shit. Knocked something off my desk. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yikes. Uh, a mother and daughter have emerged, dressed in kimonos. Did they once go missing, too? If so, it must have been a long time ago. An old roll of film from the camera obscura. Is there anything on it, I wonder? Oh, oops. shrine maiden in a room full of dolls nailed to the wall. She has a stake in her hand, just like in my vision. Who or what could she be? An image has appeared of an old projector that must have been inside the mansion. All right, we developed all the film. Good for us. Um, I guess now we just go back into the dream. Makes sense. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I can't remember exactly uh, what we were doing last time, like right when we left off. Uh, remember we got into the doll room. So I guess the next area is the area uh, it looked like you walked into. Sounds about right.
Ah. So this replaces the spirit radio. Alright, that's interesting. Kind of peculiar, but... <sighs> Who was exactly was that talking? Did it say? It didn't sound like Takigawa. I have to go see if Niku's having the dream. Santa Cry says, I like how this game gives you the opportunity to be in two worlds, real life and the dream world, and it makes you explore the two aspects. Yeah, I like it. I think that's uh, neat. I really like lim like small, limited spaces in games. So the fact that there's like a house that you can explore is pretty cool. Ray, what's the matter? Miku, that person in the picture on your desk. That's my older brother. He's been missing for quite some time. I didn't know. I'm sorry for bringing it up. I was just wondering. Awkward conversation to just have with someone like that. I guess the cat is Miku's. Watch the cat turn out to be Mafuyu. Oop, there's a ghost somewhere. Did I miss the ghost by walking in here? Can I go back out and find it? Looks like I can. Is it still down here? <gasps> Ooh, Storage space under the stairs is full of old newspapers and magazines. Is that it? Is that all we got? Is our house being haunted by ghosts? Is it Silent Hill for the room again? Tafia says, what tipped you off to ghost? Uh, it might not be super visible on screen, but when there is a, or on stream, but when there is a ghost, suddenly film grain gets added to the area. So uh, it looks like I'm watching the game through like an old projector, basically. It's just, it's very, very visible. Um, on my side because I mean maybe it's just because I'm playing it on uh, the CRT that it becomes like very very obvious but basically looks like that yeah Miku or Ray? Looks like Miku. Oh, it is Miku. Am I playing as Miku? It's interesting. This dream again? Interesting. The evil dream. 
he gets a bad feeling about the dream. Oh, she does she have her old camera obscura? She has herbal medicine. Oh, and just a professional camera. I really was not expecting to play as Miku again. That's exciting. Have a super competent protagonist who's done this all before. More herbal medicine, perfect. Oh my god, the rope hallway again? Are you kidding me? She's back here? In the Himuro Mansion? I still remember the layout of this place. Is this... Yep. But I don't want to have to use it again. Yeah, so that, like, film grain effect, if you could see it on the, uh on the screen that's what it looks like when a ghost is around so i can kind of track oh this is where we fought the 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 himuro master and i i got that bug where it just did no damage to him for the first like 22 seconds of the fight or whatever is this game just gonna have like a complete remake of fatal frame one in it Engrave in the pedestal the same number of panes. Oh, we need one more. All right. Ah, how'd that not count? What? Hit 61. Oh, that's great. Let's kill this guy. There we go. Oh, missed. He was kind of like the Himuro Master. There's something on the floor where the man with the hatchet was. Simulacrum mask. White expressionless mask on the back is a metal attachment for hanging. Ah! Sacred stone amulet. Miku Hinosaki's special ability. Slow a ghost movement. By pressing the circle button and using the sacred stone, you slow the movement of ghosts. As the ghost moves more slowly, it's easier to dodge attacks or aim the shutter chance. You cannot use a sacred stone if the sacred stone meter drops to zero. Niku damages the ghost, or receives damage, uh, it replenishes. The higher your level, the faster it replenishes, and the longer during its effect. Okay, so this replaces the spirit orb function from the original camera obscura in the first game. Because there was a limited amount of uh, spirit orbs in the first game, uh, you're now able to, to do this because of it. Door is firmly closed. Dang. I am extremely shocked that there's like a remake of the first Fatal Frame in this game. <laughs> I don't know how often we'll play as Miku or whatever, but uh, very intriguing. There's a gaping hole in the floor as if something heavy has fallen through it. It's dark inside the hole and I can't even see the ground underneath. Honestly, uh, the thing here, oh yeah, this is where the angry mask went before. The metal fixtures on the back of the simulacrum mask look like they are made to match perfectly with the ones on this door. You hung the simulacrum mask on the fixtures on the door. Perfect. And it becomes the angry mask. Yep. And now we're gonna be in the, the hallway, right? Oh no, we're in this room with the super annoying ghosts. And I believe there was herbal medicine on one of these planks. 
Am I gonna have to remember the code that was over here? The like 1430, I knew I was gonna encounter this damn ghost here. What's happening? I should probably heal myself. If he says makes sense to get some Miku gameplay. Oh no. There we go. Uh, Big Mood Ray would never have been able to solve the mystery on her own. I completely agree. Ray is a complete freeloader. That was a good picture. They finally come for me. Lithograph stone. Oh my god, this puzzle. Are you kidding me again? They did change it. Last time, in the first game, this was a numbers puzzle where you just had to you had to type in a code. What exactly is this place? Hmm. Oh, this is the strangulation. Gotcha. That's not good. You have to fight her. Yep. going to be an instant kill like it is in the first game where's the stone mirror when you need one
Huh. But yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sad if if Neo died. She just got the really short end of the stick as a fatal frame protagonist. <laughs> I got shutter chance. Ah. Wasting so much film this time around. I don't know if Miku and uh, Ray have a shared pool. I I'm hoping that they do not. Did that count? I like how they upgraded Type 7 ammo to, like, at least be useful from a, uh, like, damage perspective. Because, like, before it used to be actually useless. And here it seems like it's functional at the very least. Oh, God. Jeez. Rope Maiden, please. Can't remember who this, uh, what her name was. There we go. We did it. <clears throat> oh, okay. So the talisman is broken. We can go back to the other the other wing of the house. Was there anything in this room? Nope. Probably can't go through there, I guess. I don't want to go any further. Mafu you. I like that Miku has a personality in this game because she kind of doesn't in the first. She mostly just like sits around and gapes at stuff and it just seems surprised that all of this is happening in an evil haunted mansion. Uh, a painting is on the wall. The surface is black from the moisture coming in through the window and I can't make out what the picture is. Perhaps there was a pair on either side of the room. Hobbs says hi. Hey Hobbs, welcome. I remember correctly, this girl was Chitose? Is that correct? Or was Chitose from the second game? Old books are lined up on a small bookshelf. One of them looks like a diary or something, but the moisture coming in through the window has smudged the writing and I can't read any of it. There's an old book on top of the desk. Crimson Diary. Chitose wrote in Crimson Diaries in the second game. Snow is falling. It's a quiet night. This could be the last snow of the ten uh, of the ten years of changing seasons I have watched from this window. As I watch the snow, I get the feeling that something has passed. Finally, I have severed all of my attachments. Oh, Himuro Kizuna. 
Kizuna's interest. That's an interesting name. Kizuna means bond. I'll give my body over to the ropes and seal the gates. Uh, the rope priest is Himuro Mansion. The memories of a girl who's tied up here. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, like Kizuna can literally mean like the thread that ties things together. So interesting name. Cool choice. Tiny door. Playing the games back to back has actually uh, been really beneficial in this regard because I, I actually remember <laughs> stuff about the first game. But yeah, I had I had no idea we'd be playing as Miku. That's that's very cool. It's kind of interesting. It it mirrors the um ooh, I've gotta get out of this banner quick. I don't wanna be here anymore. Yeah, you just broke the seal out there. Can you not? Nichao Kochi, your brother's over here. What is doing that to you? This wakes up. I don't know if I actually wanted to do that, but. It's kind of intriguing. I'm going to quickly reload and just see if there's anything uh, in that direction. I'm glad I saved right there. So she doesn't want to go in that room, but if I walk down here, this person, the ghost appears and she says, your brother's over here. Kizuna says that so we go all right I guess we can go this way now That's intriguing Missed the ghost chance. There we go. Uh, wait. This is the manner of sleep. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, nice. This is where uh, Ray was, I think. Oh, my thing. Huh? Okay. all just going to be the same. Maybe, uh, I'll just go back to where it was. Huh. Well, I'm almost certain that when Ray is here, um, that doesn't lead to the Himuro Mansion. Medicine, that's nice. 
And have I ever been in this room with Ray? I don't think so. What the heck? How do I get in there? I want the thingy in there. Am I just not allowed? <laughs> what the heck? That's annoying. There's a small space at the back of the low book bookcase. I can see a ladder hanging up. I tried, to, I tried pushing the bookcase, but it's too he heavy. Perhaps only a man could do it. Interesting. Is there going to be a guy character we can play as? Because that's come up twice. Healing, Surrendering of the Flesh, Shrine Maiden. Most of the books in this bookcase are illegible now, but I can make out a few words. Interesting. The books won't fit in the bookcase. They're piled. On the next page is a picture showing the ascetic being swallowed by a snake. Maybe this is a book illustrating local myths or folk tales. Pretty common. Bookcase full of old books. Where am I? is tightly sealed so wait do I have to go upstairs did I miss something <laughs> yeah it looks like there's something actually up there so I'm pulling up first person just so I can see the uh, camera angles a little bit better Anything that I'm missing? No, I don't. I don't think I can come back here. I guess we'll just have to. Uh, be. Is there anything back here? No. Oh. Okay, that startled me. <laughs> Oh no, this is the shrine room where I had to fight the something, save something. I couldn't hear the, the first word. Okay, that's interesting. I'm glad I reloaded. Ended up getting what, herbal medicine and film? That's good. That's good for us. Oops, smacked my microphone. Taking a sip of water. All right. Was that Miku's dream? But why? I don't know, lady. You tell me. Seems Miku's having that same dream, too. The rope house. And skewered dolls. Inside the house, in a courtyard surrounded by a corridor, was a tree wrapped with a sacred rope. Around it stood straw dolls skewered on stakes. Countless dolls in the snow. What could be the significance of this eerie scene? Rope house. The house in Miku's dream is different from the one I've been seeing. The corridor is hung with rope, the blood altar, the woman torn apart. Miku has a memory of these things. Is the place somehow connected to Miku and her memories of her brother? Really presumptuous of you. She too wanders the house in her dreams looking for Mafuyu, her brother. She's always so cheerful and strong. Is she still wounded by what happened, just like me? Mafuyu Hinasaki. Written in Kei's letter was the name of Miku's brother, Mafuyu. He was a friend who Kei and you, of Kei and you, who disappeared while the, on the trail of the missing writer Junsei Takamine. People say he was spirited away. I knew Miku had lost a relative, but I thought he died. She never spoke about her brother. That photo, is Miku still longing for him? 
begging for help. The girl who called Miku back when she tried to leave. Your brother's here, she said in a sad, mournful voice. Miku was stunned by what she heard. Again, very presumptuous of Rei to assume. The girls who appeared in my daydream at the deserted house I visited on the photography assignment. In the dream manner, they were in the room where the red dolls were nailed to the wall. Who or what could they be? If the manner I saw that day was the one I dream about, the one I heard about from Miku, does that mean they were carrying out some kind of ceremony there? Impaling people? Seems like it. Protector. Old Protector was in the house I saw in my dream. The images inside showed girls dressed as shrine maidens. Someone must have been recording what goes on inside the manor. Intriguing. I'm curious what some of this ends up, like, meaning, right? Like, what is the manor of sleep? I wanted to check out uh, to see if I could use the spirit stone radio in uh, use room. Nope. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Just stuff. Oh, in the bookcase, there's a book with a projector similar to the one photographed in the mansion. The device shown here was left by Kunihiko Aso. He used it to substantiate the existence of and communication with the spirit world. He was a brilliant scientist and philosopher, and by appropriating Western culture in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, he combined the new technology with the theory of the spirit world to prove its existence. It is said a few of his devices were able to capture the unbelievable. Oh, I thought we already read this. Having completed the experimental stage of the camera obscura, uh, he created the screen upon which to project the special images captured on film. The records say that images were projected that could not be seen when they were photographed. Interesting. Kunihiko Aso, scholar of the occult, his research known as mystical science attempted to use new western technology to explain old Japanese folk beliefs. After completing his camera obscura capable of capturing images of the other world, he made a projector using the same technology. Using this, he was able to play back supernatural images recorded on film that could not be seen on conventional equipment. Ooh. Developed by Kunihiko Aso, Use a technology of the camera obscure to show supernatural images from another plane that can't be played on normal equipment. Okay. So I guess the, the things we have been looking at. Ooh, can I open these boxes? Anything in here? I tried to sort through things, but I couldn't go on anymore. I haven't touched it since. Oh, I can actually open his closet now. Nothing in there. Okay. It looks like I should be able to interact with like the pair of keys right there or whatever, but I can't. Bummer. All right, let's go talk to Miku. How are you doing today, Hobbs? By the way, I didn't ask. I don't see Miku anywhere. She's always awake by now, but maybe she's still in her room? Get her a Dreamcast. Take it up to that CRT. She'll have a blast. I bet Miku would love Super Magnetic Neo. Super Magnetic Neo? Was that its name? Something like that. The game was weird. Miku. Oh, uh, Ray says Miku, and then Miku says, Hey, sorry, today I'm not feeling very good. I didn't sleep very well. Or, today isn't so great for me. I didn't sleep very well. Did something happen yesterday? I just had a strange dream. That's all. Please don't worry about me. By the way, a letter came for you this morning. I left it in the kitchen. Thanks. Get some rest today. And then there's this. Ooh. Okay. Amakura. Isn't this him? Where did you find this photo? Yesterday, looking through my brother's albums. My brother worked on the same editing team as you for a while. I thought there might be a photo of him left over from those days. I see. Thank you. Okay, interesting. So downstairs, there's the thing. Oh, Confused is here. Hello, Confused. What a pleasure. Welcome. How are you doing today? How, how have things been? Hobbs and Confused 
are good watching in vrc with bf you can watch twitch in vr chat you're watching me in vr chat that's the coolest thing i've ever heard in my life you'll have to link me to whatever world you're using this is sick there's a letter on the kitchen counter it looks like it's from k miku must have brought it in and left it here Dear you, have you listened to the three tapes I sent before? I'd like you to listen to them before you read the te uh, read the rest. Maybe you won't believe it, but I've had the manner of sleep dream. First, I thought I was just thinking about the manner too much, but after listening to those tapes into Mio, I'm displaying the same symptoms. In the dream, I'm in a snowy manner. I don't remember it well, but it resembles the house I got the camera obscura from. I just get a bad sense from the manner, just like these testimonies. The only difference is I was pursuing Mio in the manor, and Mio wasn't dead. Wait, Mio, Mio died? If the urban legend of the manor of sleep is true, and I can wake Mio from her dream, maybe I can save her. Even if it, gets, it makes little sense, I feel I'm getting closer to the truth. K. Amakura. Huh. Three cassettes. Maybe they're in used room somewhere. Interesting. So wait, K is... K is trying to save Mio. Is Mio dead? Is that such a bummer? If if Mio's dead, then dang, she got the short end of the stick. She really got screwed over. That's brutal. All right. In the drawer, there's a thick envelope from K Amakura. Perhaps this is the cassette tape from the letter. Dear you, I got a tape on the manner of sleep urban legend from a source at the hospital. A psychiatrist had recorded the medical condition of a patient. There's a lot of background noise as it was originally recorded on a gramophone, but the content is great. It's not quite anthropology, but I think you'll be interested too. It's a lot to ask, but I'd like you to find out about the legends or cases of missing people similar to this one. All right. It seems as though there's one more old tape. Damn. Oh, I'm so, I feel so bad for Mio. It would really suck if she died. Uh, so Ray, uh, Mio, uh, Mio, Miku just said, uh, Ray, are you having trouble sleeping? If it's good for you, we can sleep together, <laughs> which is just, this game does veer a little bit porny in this one. Uh, Tafia said, I thought she didn't want to sleep because of the nightmares, but then started sleeping more and more until she didn't wake up. So she's in a coma, I think. I don't think they want to, they've given us an explicit answer though. Uh, that's, that was my impression. But then this last note said, Mio was in the manner of sleep and quote unquote, wasn't dead, which implies that when he's not sleeping, she is dead. So I'm confused. <laughs> Ray, I researched the abandoned house we covered here. Why don't you take a look? Coverage of the abandoned house. Below is a summary of what the newspaper reporter told me about the coverage of the abandoned house. I didn't have a time before, so please take this as reference. They say there were several villages around the manor until the 1900s, but today even the abandoned house remains. Only the abandoned house remains. Even the landowner does not know when or why it was built. Now the area around the entrance is left, but originally it was a huge manor, deep and strangely shaped. It seems in old, uh, on old maps, a shrine is occasionally drawn in, but now there exists not so much of a trace of it, and not much is known about it. But on the outlying mountains, it seems a myth-like story is told that is connected to the other world. The rumor of the ghost manor may be due to the myth, but since long ago, the abandoned house has been called a ghost manor. Many people visit it just because of the rumor. The rumor is you can meet the dead at the manor, and further, that the dead will meet, you will meet will summon you to the other world. The rumor's origins are said to be in seances that were held in a shrine there, but that's merely a rumor too. In any case, I think the story of the mountain connected to the other world is the source of the rumor. Thanks. I really appreciate it. 
uh, I guess if you if you need anything else from me, let me know. If you have any other things for me to do, let me know. Mata yoga aru, itte kudasai. Please tell me if there is something you want from me. No spookies. I really love this little house. <laughs> I would love to live in this apartment. I, it's not an apartment. It is It is straight up a house. This is like a truly a multi-million dollar house <laughs> in a Japanese city for sure. That was an ominous sound. Did you hear that? I'm not sure why the subtitle stopped, <laughs> but... She didn't really say anything meaningful. This sounds like he's talking about uh, Minakami Village. It sounds like he's talking about um, Makabe. Who was sacri he was sacrificed as a kusabi when the, the ceremony failed. And then he killed everyone. His ghost or whatever. When Sai went through, through the ritual. body something this part is actually hard to make out this tattoo something something all right time for sleepies That startled me. Hey, I think that's that's you, right? Are we gonna run into him again? Or wait, is uh it was Miku who was focused on last time. Are we playing as you this time? Oh dear. That's not good for us. Vanishing.
Oh no, this is K. Oh, he can crouch and hide. What a wimp! So the man is strong, but a coward. Mio, uh, we're going up this way really quick. Oh, this is the Kodo room. <laughs> Purple diary. How many days have it been? Has it been? How many months? How many years? Many outsiders have been brought here, but none of them are like him. He said my hair was beautiful, but no matter how much I arrange it, he'll probably never know how I feel. All I can do is comb my hair and wait for him. That way, when he comes back with his camera, he'll take my picture again. Uh, the Purple Diary is from uh, Fatal Frame 1. Mirror on the stand shattered in tiny pieces. Among the fragments, a hairpin engraved with a holly in in, uh, reflects in the light. A black clump of something is stuck to the wall. Behind the mirror stand strand, it looks like hair. Belong to probably belong to a woman. Okay. Is this is this the Himuro Mansion? This doesn't seem like the Osaka house. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cough in everyone's ears. I tried to mute myself. That's bad. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Oh, Miku walked across this before. So we are. We're in the Himuro Mansion right now. Paulo says I'm personally offended. Why? What did we do? Can't interact with that right now. Oh, you're personally offended because I coughed into the mic. Sorry. palanquin hangs on the roof beams the palanquin itself is quite simple and unadorned with the window frame is beautifully decorated so yeah I guess Miku's influence is bleeding into the house as well right because Miku is the only one here who's actually been to the Humoro mansion unless Kay has as well but it didn't seem like it Maybe it's because he's missing Mafuyu as well. Were they just roommates as well? Were they just very close friends? Kind of clever to reuse some of these assets in these like pre-designed rooms basically. Nothing here. Anything back here?
Door is locked with a holly pen. Gotcha. Or holly key. <gasps> So yeah, he just can't deal with ghosts, I guess. He's just a big weenie baby. Total weenie hut junior. Lock is engraved with butterfly. Cho. Can't do anything with that. All right, so Mio is presumably there. I'm gonna be really sad if she's she's gone forever. She didn't deserve that. She got a a really unfortunate draw. Alright, so the the ghost finder glows blue when I am safe. Or when they don't know where I am, and red when they do. She's right there. This is proto amnesia. This came out this came out before Penumbra. Incredible stuff way beyond its time. Get wrecked. Yuru Senai, I will not forgive you. That's what she just said. What? Ah! You kidding me right now? Where am I supposed to go? I found you. Alright, so Mio is in that place. Can I go this way? Oh, I can go. Okay, I can go over here. Okay, that's not what we were looking for, though. It's funny that the game like pauses right there. All right, let's see if we can come back out of here and then she won't be right, right in front of me and I can maybe leave up here. Okay. So I can't go in there. I can't go down there. And this place leads me to a dead end I can't leave. So where the heck do I go? Is there a staircase down that I missed? Oop. Old map hotkey. 
No, there's no place for me to go. Hmm. Kimono room. Can't go down from the kimono room. Can't go there. So where the heck do I go? Is there like a... Do I need the... Did I just misunderstand the puzzle? I'm confused. Maybe she dropped something when she despawned? Maybe I need to find my way back to the Kodo? Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Is there anything over here? Oh, Holly Hairpin. Okay, it looks like the same pattern carved in the keyhole at the door. Okay, that was odd. Interesting key. <clears throat> woman with comb. Inside the room decorated with kimono and locked from the outside was the ghost of a woman with long flowing hair. Around the mirror stand clumps of her hair. Around the mirror stand. Oh, around the mirror stand. Clumps of her hair had been pinned to the wall. Had she been waiting for someone there all that time? Yes. Oh, this is that weird dead end hallway. Gotcha. So this guy's like a big weenie baby and he hides from ghosts, which like is relatable but also kind of a weak move like all of all of the other characters in this game are, are just completely running circles around him when it comes to the whole courage thing okie dokie there mm, not poggers how's everyone doing just listening to this light moaning We just gotta wait for her to pass. It's all good. Just we'll just enjoy the sultry sounds of her just breathing like a weirdo. Walking down the hallway gets her really winded. I found you. I believe this leads us east. <laughs> Just, uh. Oh, wow, she speaks a weird dialect. I have no clue what she said. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, oh. Ghost hands, but not the kind that I like. I just thought she was, <laughs> I thought she was like one of the friendly ghosts. Oh no, oh no. This is the opposite of what we want. 
All right, wow, I cannot understand her dialect of Japanese at all. Akirame, you must uh, give up. That's what that means. But holy smokes, her Japanese is hard to hard to understand. Okay, so that's Miku's part of the mansion. I guess I can't go there. All right, so I was trying to go into that room from last time that had the bookcase that only a man could push because they're they're big, strong men, I guess. But all right, Type 14 film. That's nice. Japanese doll. Oh, but I don't have the camera obscure yet. Get out of here, ghost hands. Oh wait, this isn't a way. This just looks looks down over the banister. Can't see anything interesting here. Just where the ghost of the old crone was standing is slightly open. Inside is a man's bloodstained kimono and a jumbled pile of old, old books. Among them I found an old camera wrapped in cloth. Yes! Folklore Notes 3. It's been nearly half a month since I entered the mansion. It's still snowing outside. Once the snow melts, I'll be parted from Kyoka and most likely never be able to return. Men are not needed in the manor. Agree. Useless. If necessary, I could run away, but if possible, I would like to take Kyoka with me. That feeling is what keeps me here. Sometimes worshippers from nearby villages came here. All of them cover their faces and head into the shrine. Today's worshipper seemed like a woman. She was holding a child-sized bundle, and it looked as if she was crying. I can also hear that lullaby. I wonder if the ceremony is like some sort of funeral. Alright. Oh, slow lens. All right, lady, fight me. He's weak. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Wait, does he not shudder chance? I guess I can't do anything about her still. Well, that's kind of a tease. It's actually extremely annoying. Oh, and I can't get through here because she'll do damage to me. That is very annoying. image of something has emerged from the photo. It looks like somewhere else. I have to go all the way back there? What the heck? Tiffy says, like, this is like Chris Redfield getting an extra inventory space all over again. Tisk tisk Japanese game devs. Clearly Miku could push it. She must be holding back so we get more content. Uh, that is the, the most logical explanation, yes. Oh yeah, that's the Dianthus key. We can't go through there. It's fine. Who said to cry says, they have to put an elevator in this banner. I agree. I really don't want to have to keep using my herbal medicines, but I just I'm bad and I keep taking damage. <laughs> 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 
I waited for you all this time. I was always waiting. Uh, that was annoying. A little bit of annoying little backtracking, but whatever. I fight you. Better chance, lady. What the? What the heck? His camera is a weak. What the heck? There she is. Does everyone have their own? Oh God. Does everyone have their own pool for upgrading the cameras? Seems like that might be the case. Ah! Oh god, get off of me, lady. <laughs> Too sad to cry says she looks pretty. Agree. Yeah, dang, his camera is very weak. It, this is going to be downright dangerous for me. There she is. Did I kill her? Nope. I mean, his camera, more than anything else, just seems like a self-defense, like, get off me button. And it does an actual weapon. Oh god. Don't kill me. I see you. This camera sucks. It, it just feels like I'm doing no damage to her. Ah! Can I even kill her?
there. That does more damage, which is nice. I just don't want to have to go through all my type 14 zone just to do damage to her. That was rough. All right, uh, let's look at his camera. I, I we might need to upgrade stuff because that was that was not very good. Okay, so he does seem to have a completely unique uh, camera compared to them all. How, how do I use the upgraded lens again? Oh, I had to equip it. Oh, that would explain that. All right. Uh, was it here? What did I need to do? There's the lock. It's this way. All right, so at least we got enough points there to uh, upgrade our camera a few times. It wasn't great. We wasted a lot of film, but we should be good. Guess we just go this way, avoid the, the old crone, as they called her go to the area at the end of the hallway that we uh, previously were not supposed to go to. Koskete, save me. That's what that says. Mother Tari. I just said the, the thing to save it, I believe. Oh, mother. I cannot make out what he's saying at all. Oh, thank God. Herbal medicine. As long as we can keep like four in our inventory at any given point in time, that's great for us just because that means we can at least full heal if we need it. Because each, each one heals about one uh, fourth of our health. There was another one of these bookshelves somewhere. I just don't remember where. You're telling me this wimp can move that bookcase that easily, but like God tier JRP or JRPG survival horror protagonist Miku couldn't. Like <laughs> some sacred object must have been displayed here. Something is written in tiny letters on the shelf. Offer up the tone of instruction written in the ink of the etching of the snow. There's something shiny by the side of the altar. Butterfly key. All right. Other. Piercing of the soul. We want to go up this ladder and see what the heck is up here. How old is this lead? Ooh wee, we got our first type ninety. Bang. 
That is a that is a powerful film to drop on us right now, but it also makes me very nervous. Oh my god, she just appeared behind me. Ah. Oh no. Goodbye, herbal medicine. can't tell if they seem to have separate ammo um, reserves or not. There we go. Wow. Type 60 is very strong in this game, it seems. Oh, Blue says hi. Hey, Blue. Welcome. How's your day been? How are things? So yeah, dang. So Ray's camera seems to be the most powerful. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. She's going to like walk right up to me and see me. Yep. How in the world? Time to just run for it. Flee. This guy is a wimp. Trying to uh, survive with him has been rough. I can't believe I used all of that herbal medicine. I'm really hoping it's not actually shared across characters because I will be extraordinarily depressed if I have absolutely no heal items with anyone else just because of him. Narik says, what is the real life distinction between the film types? What do you mean? I, uh, I'm not 100% sure what exactly you mean by that. I think they're just different, maybe grades of film. Some is really nice and some is, is not. It, I, I'm, I'm truly not sure uh, what the distinction is like meant to be. This is just type seven, type seven, type fourteen, type sixty, type ninety, and then type zero. Those aren't like actual film grades, I don't think. Unless it's talking about like some kind of sensitivity that they would have, like ISO or something, or what? What is it? F-stop, the amount of light that it can get in. I, I, despite knowing a lot about film, as in like movie production, I don't actually know a lot about film from a photography standpoint, so. We made it. Oh my God, is it the, it's this room, the door glitch room. I promised you, big sister, therefore, something, something. We promised. We promised, didn't we? Oh, poggers. Also, I see an item right there. Ooh. Lens pressure. 
Repel back damage. Oh. That seems good. I looked for you. I promised I'd look for you. But as far as we know, right? Um, as far as we know, from the ending of the last game, Miku, Mio and Mayu are together forever, right? Like, because their souls are conjoined again. The pinwheel puzzle, the, the house crests from the second game are coming back here too. Man, this is a really intriguing capstone to this trilogy. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird to phrase it this way, but this game is like the Metroid dread of <laughs> Fatal Frame, where like every single plot thread and, and possible evolution of like what the games are trying to do and say are coming to a pinhead here in this game. This is fascinating stuff. What is making noise? It's not the radio, is it? Ouch. Oh, it's still nighttime. It is, oh, is it gonna be the spirit stone radios? It is. This is cool. Seems to be coming from inside the roof. What? Oh no, this is super the grudge. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, don't climb up there. Don't do it. Girl. You're going to get murder death by ghosts. <laughs> it's the tinnitus sound. She's a mouth breather. Ray's a mouth breather. <laughs> Grab them boobies. Dream? Masaka? It couldn't be. You know what this means. We find Miku and we immediately talk to her. She ain't in there. She's downstairs probably. Miku, mom said it's my turn to use the Nintendo Wii. Oh, 
姉さんちょっと働きすぎです少し休んでくださいあーレイ、you work too much please take a rest 何かご用ですか Do you have something for me? Nico, I was wondering if you could research this photograph for me. Thanks. Nico, I was wondering if you could research this photograph for me. Uh, uh, understood. I'll try to get as much info as I can. It's raining again today. It literally rains every day in this game. Light drizzle has been falling for several days. There's something comforting about the sound of rain. The way it seems to envelop the whole house and everything in it. Oh, wow. Uh, interesting. Uh, I guess we should probably go check what's his face's room. Okay, her face jump scared me just now. <laughs> Can I actually look at uh, stuff? Oh! She has an, so they all have individual lens upgrades. Interesting. Or not lens upgrades, but but lenses. Oh wow, we can upgrade the individual lenses as well. Pafius. Translation, Ray, you suck, I'm gonna head out and fix this shit. Go work on your tan or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's a storage space above, uh, in the attic. Bro, you would pun like puncture directly through the drywall that you're standing on. Spirit Stone Radio. Oh my God, this is so sick. Is this the radio I dreamed about last night? There's a book here that seems to go with the radio. As mentioned previously, occultist Kunihiko Aso was actively has actively appropriated Western craft with the goal of ex explicating ancient Japanese belief in and legends of the uh, outer world. It is said he finally was able to establish communication with the other world. The first example of this is the other world crystal radio signal receiver, otherwise known as the Spirit Stone Radio. Spirit Stone Radio's Spirit Stone was a name his colleagues used later. In Dr. Aso's research materials, it was simply referred to as the crystal. The principle of the crystal radio is that it utilizes the special wave detection property of crystal to pick up the appropriate band of wavelength. Aso focused on the fact that stones have been known from ancient times to carry occult properties could find a special crystal he thought perhaps he could capture signals it is said his experiment was a success and the records note that he was able to capture sound at a range outside of normal broadcasting the documentation of the sounds have been lost but also his associates left behind several testimonials saying they have heard the words of the past and the words of ghost So I, I like the little bespoke areas in this game. I think it's so cool that like they modeled an area to hang, like explore and look around in that's like extremely small. Like normally that sort of thing would like just wouldn't be a factor in most games. Um, I have to refill my water. I will be back in like three minutes. It will be very quick.
All right, hey, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's continue. Thanks for your patience, everyone. I also quickly scarfed down a Japanese custard bun. It was very good. We stopped at 85 degrees earlier. It's a bakery, uh, like a Taiwanese bakery. Um, and they had like a bunch of different confections. And today they had a few like Japanese pastries and Castella and stuff. So we bought some very tasty. Alrighty, uh, I guess I can't use the spirit stone radio right now. I'm gonna go bug Miku and see what she has to say. <coughs> Tafia says Gwyneth Paltrow's magic rocks are to blame. Yeah, don't touch the weird egg-shaped one. It's been places. Ray, it seems like I can't sleep at all either. And then that's the thing that she normally says, where it's like, lately you seem you seem a little off, are you okay? Guess I'm just gonna go to sleep because I I don't really know what there is to interact with right now. butcher again. Am I going to play as Ray again finally? Please go. It'd be so good. <laughs> I'm really hopeful. Yes, we're playing as Ray again. We're already in chapter 6. Dang. I have no idea how long this game is. <laughs> but the other games have all been pretty short. So I would assume that we're... Uh, if not at the end, close to it. Sealed by some strong power. All right. Uh. Ah. Ah, great. All right, so she has 30 type 14, 24 type 61. So yeah, it seems like the uh, <clears throat> the different film types are unique to the people. We will now be able to tell if the inventory is unique to them as well. It is. Okay, phew, we are good. Which way? Alright. I guess we'll go back to... I, I, yeah, I have no idea what he's saying. Puman means, like, disappointing. Or, like, un unable to resist. It, can, it, it That's what it could mean, because Puman's a cool. Game. Game, I need you to chill out desperately. Please save me. Something around is reflecting uh, light from the inside of the pool of blood behind the chest. Sacrificial pillar. Maybe I can get it to play in the projector. 
Alright, I guess we'll have to go to the projector room then. <coughs> oh, the Kodo room is upstairs and it's unlocked, which means we should be able to go up here now. Disho. Correct. Fight me, it's time for our rematch. Are you kidding me? You're not going to fight me? Unbelievable. Coward. Absolute coward. Jokes aside about Ray uh, being kind of a uh, moocher and self-proclaimed mean girl. Uh, I actually like her the most, I think, out of the protagonist so far. She's the most characterized. Huh? Oh. Ah. God, Ray is just a tank in this game. <laughs> just does so much damage. Octavia says sexist ghost will only pick on defensive male. True, uh, it's it's misandry in action. That is absolutely a joke. before anyone clips that out of context. You cannot trick me again. I wonder how good it is to use slow on the combo shot. It might make the second and third shots a little bit easier to put together. Well, can't test it out because I just killed him. <laughs> Oops. Didn't even get hit that time though. What happens when you play as a character who does actual damage? It's her mean girl powers. She just is extraordinarily unkind to the ghosts. Manages to knock them away. Alright, let's see. Alright, so it's it's beginning to seem like the individual characters are not able to go into the areas of the mansion influenced by the memories of other people maybe i'm wrong about that but that was the crimson butterfly area are you are you fucking with me right now ah, ah starpy hey Butt spot. I would have butt taken a butcher with my phone. Uh, ah, I can't read it because I'm trying to shoot a ghost at the same time. Uh, 
Uh, butcher with my phone since my short term buttery is trash. That makes sense. There she is. All right, where is she? Where is she? Hey, Starpy, thanks so much for, for raiding. Where the heck did the ghost lady go? Like, not even pinging. There we go. Oh! What the heck? Is she sending projectiles at me? No. All right, time for my rematch. <laughs> Starpy says, take a picture of me and exercise me. I feel, I feel like if I exercised you from my chat, it would make your raid go away, which I don't want. Welcome, welcome friends. Hello everyone. Ah. I'll pay you an exposure. What she was saying. Six P always works. Yeah, I wish. I, w I wish I had six P in this game. Here we go. Fight me, lady. Shut her chancer. There we go. Now it's a fight. She's throwing Medusa heads at me. What the fuck? <laughs> What's this weird shit she's doing? Come on. There we go. Not being cringe and, and just fight me like normal. she is I'm gonna deal a little bit of damage to her see if it will There we go. Dang, she really does not like uh, getting slowed down, huh? I see you. Get combo. All right, might be time to start using some of the uh, type 14. Do some real damage. There we go. All right, sick deal. We we killed her. We're doing all right. Well, debatably, we're doing all right. Uh, time for us to move on to the next area. <laughs> Too Sad to Cry says, I love how she decided to play dirty when you're playing with Ray now. Yeah, she's just like, she's just so much better. Starby says, what's up team? Uh, so currently we are playing uh, as Ray, who is a photographer. Um, as most characters in this game are, they all have photography experience, but she specifically is a career photographer. So she does a lot of damage with the camera. Um, which is great for us because we have, for the past two chapters, been playing as completely different characters. Um, completely different characters who are much, much worse with a camera than Ray is. Um, as a result, we are now uh, basically going to be in combat a lot more, I think, because so far Ray's encounters have been much, much more com combat oriented than all the other characters. The quick summary of the story of this game is that Ray's fiance died in a car crash. She starts seeing him in places that she's taking pictures. And now in her dreams, she is waking up in this abandoned mansion that is full of ghosts that are trying to kill her. And uh, the protagonist of the first game, her assistant, is also dreaming of this mansion. And the uncle of the protagonist from the second game is also dreaming of this mansion. So they meet in their dreams 
uh, and they're trying to explore this weird thing before a curse kills all of them. So that's the plot of the game. We're in chapter six. I do not know how long the game is, but it seems like we're maybe about halfway through. So, the door is shut tight. It feels like someone is pushing against it from the other side. The bloodstains on the floor continue under the door. Yeah, can't, can't do anything there. I see. Uh, I guess we will have to go up into the palanquin room, right? Which way is this? This leads to the projector room. All right, yeah, we wanted to go here so that we could play the film. See what's on the spooky film. You ready for some The Ring shit right now? Ooh, I wasted good film on that. That was stupid. The image of something has been caught on the photo. Oh, that's fine. All right. Piercing of the soul. Oh, this must must be the hammer and nail ritual, right? Where the little girls uh, kill the priestess by impaling them. That's what it looks like. Oh, that was it. And sacrificial pillars. Okay. Oh, there's what looks like film right there, maybe. Great, gotta take care of another little girl demon. Did she just juke me? What in the world? Unbelievable little shit. Great, they can't be comboed. I'm in danger. Is she just pogging at me? I'm not crazy, right? Everyone saw that? Look at this smug little shit. Get comboed. That was unbelievable. Wow. Come on, spooky girl. Three. Alright, I couldn't understand what she was saying there. Let's see, something is reflecting the light, type 14 film. Okay, good. It is film like I thought. Built-in desk and shelf are some messy pause of old books and film canisters. All right, nothing there this time. All right, so we, we did that. Sacrificial pillars, that's interesting. Are there any new books here for us to read? Books by lining the shelves have all been rotted by mold and look, they'd fall to pieces if anyone picked them up. Nope. <clears throat> all right, let's see which rooms we, we have to go to, right? I guess we can go back here here because that's where k was remember when we went back oh so maybe ooh this might actually be a little bit dangerous for us but let's see what we're doing all righty
Oh, the palanquin. All right, we need to we need to go back up to the palanquin. That's what we need to do. Which should be easy because it's just up here. Right? This is the way we Yeah, this is the way to go. I swear to God, if I have to fight the Kodo woman again. The woman with comb. Sorry, that's her name. Woman in kimono. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm actually really low health, so realistically what I should do is heal myself. Thankfully, she has quite a bit of, of healing uh, items. It's interesting that all three characters have their own unique inventories and, and upgrade paths because, one, it makes me wonder if certain upgrades are going to be limited to certain characters, but also, um, I really don't know if I want to upgrade any of these lenses right now. Uh, I'll wait. I don't want to upgrade the lenses because if I'm just going to get a zero lens or a blast lens again, I may as well just save all the points for that because it's just objectively better than all of the other lenses put together. She was up here, wasn't she? Old palanquin hangs from the roof beams. Okay. Not helpful. Oh, qu quick turn doesn't work on here. Where the hell? What the? Did I get it? Oh, I did. I am running so low on, on type 7 film. Dang. Alrighty. Don't fight me. It'll all be over soon. Sugu Owaru. I think she has a slightly different model than the last one. Because she has long hair. Not bad. Oh, I have no more ammo left. I have to switch films. Where is she? There she is. She's pogging too. What a little monster. There's something left behind where the girl in the priestess garb was standing. She wasn't standing anywhere. <laughs> Alright, so we got the, the lithograph stone, which we can use. It's funny to me that Ray dreams and heals. Girl, you need to dream of more sensible footwear. Paper screen window is fixed in place and I can't see outside. Oh. Narik says, if the film type doesn't have real world parallels, do the numbers themselves have special meaning? I don't know, and I, I don't think so. It's just a higher is better, I guess? After fitting the sleeping stone in the contraption, it began to move. My new script is engraved to the stone slate. Engraved in the pedestal, the same number of panes as are engraved in the sleeping stone. All right, so we have to do this puzzle again. that so oh nope oh shit okay
There we go. We did it. it. Seems the door has unlocked. Perfect. Is there anything else around here? Ooh, item. Wouldn't have seen that. Film commandment. Okay, so we got another film for the c projector. That's cool. Chigatari nai. Blood isn't enough. Or there is not enough blood. What is she doing? She's looking at the figure that has either been impaled or kusabied on the, on the thing. Huh. Strange. Okay. Ceremony room. Oh, let's read all our notes again. <clears throat> Miku tells me the house I went to is famous for being haunted. They say it's a place where people can meet the dead, and that the dead lure people into the other world. The words have stayed in my mind. What if you really is inside that manor, calling out to me? What will I do? Interesting. The ceremony room. From the small room above the roof beams, I could see into a room with a huge Buddha statue in it. What looked like a person hung from the statue, where a woman carried out a kind of ceremony. Hey, Amakura, friend of Yu's researching the manner of sleep. He and Yu were researching an urban legend about the manner of sleep. It is the same manner I've been seeing in my dreams. He started looking into it because of his niece, Mio, who fell prisoner to her dreams about the manner of sleep. Mio is the protagonist of the second game, for those who just joined us. But he got sucked in too. In the uh, he got sucked into in the course of his research, and now he's trying to find a way to escape from the dreams. Woman with comb. The woman who pinned her combed hair to the wall and waited someone's return. I've been waiting, she said, when I caught her image in the camera obscura. Zutto materu no ni. That's what she said. Did this camera once belong to the man she was waiting for? Maybe he left her and the camera here and set out for somewhere. Very possible. Kunihiko Aso, a scholar of the occult who lived in the second half of the 19th century. His research, known as mystical science, attempted to use modern Western technology to explain folklore and beliefs. First of experiments to bear fruit was Spirit Stone Radio. This used crystal technology and was able to receive supernatural sounds that normally could not be detected. The products of his research, the camera obscura and the Spirit Stone Radio and the projector, were much sought after by enthusiasts after his death and were soon scattered all over the country. The old radio, an old radio that was left in the loft above Yu's room. According to an old book left in the same place, it's a crystal radio made by Professor Aso for communicating with the other world. The reaction with a special crystal makes it possible to hear words spoken in the past in the voices of ghosts. Aso, could there be a connection with Yu's family? Yu's last name is Aso. Uh, so, as I was saying earlier, this game like really reminds me of Metroid Dread in a lot of regards because it's it's taking all of these plot threads and these disparate mechanics and ideas that kind of were just like neat gameplay additions and going, okay, but like what are the narrative implications of all of these little things that like maybe didn't matter much outside of flavor text, but now actually say something about all of these characters, their relationships and their motivations, right? So in the first game we had Miku and her brother, both partially psychic going to this mansion the story is so light in the first game it hardly matters it honestly feels meaningless <laughs> in a lot of ways um and then in the second game you know we we end up going to the lost village right and it seems almost like a bottle story like it references munakata who is the folklorist from the first game who uh basically lived in himuro manor for a while uh, the location of the first game. But aside from that, really the only major connection is that Yae is the mistress of Himuro Mansion uh, and uh, lived with Miku and Mafuyu's grandmother growing up, right? Something like that? So aside from really tenuous connections that, that didn't really mean too much. Um, oh, I just went the complete wrong direction. I am I'm silly. Silly me. Um, Aside from those really tenuous connections, uh, it mostly felt like, you know, uh, 
uh, what's it called? Like the Assassin's Creed thing, right? Of like, technically all these games take place in the same universe, and like technically this character is that character's ancestor and all that, but it it wasn't particularly meaningful to what the game was actually saying at any given point, and it never really mattered in the grand scheme of things. This game is completely different from that because all of a sudden every single little character relation matters we're exploring this mansion that is influenced by the memories and the beliefs and the connections that people have with each other and we have these three different characters that are all on like opposing oh my god these are actual fighting ghosts great Uh, great, this is my first two ghost fight, isn't it? No, I fought two before. There we go. Right, man, give me shock. All right, so we're gonna use shotgun ammo on these guys at some point. Oh yeah, this is dangerous. I need to get to the open part of the room. Holy smokes, that did a lot of damage. Fight me. Holy crap. That was, ah, uh, wow. <laughs> uh, wait, that was the way, I, that was the direction I went. Ray is OP, yeah, dang. But, uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, so like we're finally, we're playing this game with, uh, the force that was pushing against the door has disappeared. Good. Um, we're finally playing this game where we're, we're playing as all three, you know, major characters in this game that are basically only tangentially related to the plots that we have been seeing, but are kind of now revealed to be the, the overall main characters of like, the story. Oh, that's devastating. Okay, that was a waste. Nice three hit combo. Did I kill him? No, he's still alive. He's around here somewhere. There he is. No, 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 no. Oh. I hate how the button for the special film is the same as the one to open the notebook. That's the one thing I really don't like. I don't understand why they, they changed the. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand why they changed the mechanic there, the controls. An old book was left behind where the ghost was. Moria Tome 1. Top shrine carpenters have been gathered together to seal the Kuze shrine into the depths of the great cavern so that not even a single ray of light can enter into that darkness. Then we must erect a shrine of the rift in front of the great cavern using spirit trees as the core pillars and the, with sacrificial pillars arranged so that the darkness is purified and the rift cannot leak out into the world. That's kind of interesting. Special ability flash. Ray Kurosawa's special ability repels ghosts, banishes weak ghosts. When the flash repels a ghost, you may get a shutter chance, but some ghosts are immune to the repelling effect. When you've been caught by a ghost and your timing with the circle button is good, you can evade the attack. When you wake from a dream, your flashes are restored to max capacity. The higher your level, the higher your max capacity. That sounds powerful. Human columns. In the old book left by the man whose whole body was blue with tattoos are teachings relating to the construction of the manor. According to these teachings, the other men in white robes were all dot dot dot. Men in white, the men who appeared in the black stained corridor wearing ragged white robes and tall court hats. They run lost through the blood stained house. Before them is a tattooed man wearing the same white robes who stands in a sea of blood. The men in white, the tattooed man, the man who hid his face, a hatchet in his hand. What connects them to the manor? Why were they killed in that way? 
Yeah, that's kind of neat. So yeah, uh, hmm? Nani? Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Uh, my next question is, what was... Uh, Nani? Where am I going? Let's check over here. Okay. Can't get anything from there, uh, cause I guess K got the stuff. Nothing interesting in here still. I can't believe I used a sacred water. I didn't even use any in, in Fatal Frame 2. This time it seemed appropriate though. Huh. Where do I need to go now? That's my question. Uh, but anyway, uh, I guess the point I was trying to make is like, we're finally seeing the plot threads come together, but it reveals something bigger about the scope of the story, right? Because it's not just saying, hey, like, here's here's like a little piece of, of lore in the game, right? Like. We're not just like playing someone's ancestor this time. It's like, no, this character is integral to the mystery at play here. I can't believe I just missed that. <laughs> I was not expecting her to disappear so quickly. Oh my God, am I gonna have to fight her? Bellflower design. Oh, I used the bellflower key. All right, we're good. The things I do for level ups. All right, I guess we're not fighting kid ghosts. I guess kid ghosts are off the menu. We'll have to go upstairs now. We'll just go through the bellflower door. Where is this going to bring us? This will bring us above the, the room we were just in, right? something so this person is something it, it might be hard to be this person it might be hard to become this person I'm not 100% sure but she said because I uh, there are a lot of scrolls on the shelf that's all you have to say about the <laughs> the, the spooky thing that just like reacted uh, I couldn't I couldn't hear exactly what she said but too sad to cry says what do you think of ray's apartment i think it's too so cozy and beautiful ray's apartment is amazing i don't think it's an apartment that's like a full-on house that's like a multi-million dollar mansion in japan <laughs> uh but yeah it's a it's a great little uh, space i i like it so much it has like an interesting dreamcast game quality to it that i just really enjoy a light burns on the writing desk where a scroll with old-fashioned writing on it lies unfurled it looks like some kind of record and seems to be filled with names and numbers. A lithograph stone lies on top of the scroll like a paperweight. Blah, 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 carved into it is a three. Okay, we got the blast lens. Yes, this is what I wanted. So inflict more damage than a normal shot. It takes two spirit points. Blah, 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 if you shoot during the fatal frame, it does added damage. Awesome. Camera is now a gun. Yes, <laughs> this is true. Cool. We got the blast thing, and we are going to upgrade it. Would you live there for the rest of your life uh, for free, but it's still haunted? Yeah, probably. Wouldn't bug me that much. From here, I can see into the downstairs. Maybe this was put here so people below uh, could observe what was happening below. You'll get free tattoos. It's worth it. Agree. 
An image of something has been caught on the photo. Okay. Is there anything up here? Uh, where is the last engraving that I needed to do though? Oh, wait, what the heck? Part of the wall is broken. I can see through the next room. The other side of the hole is blocked, blah, blah. I tried pushing the chest, but I can't budget at all. I can hear moaning coming from the other side of the room. Interesting. Ooh, give me the goodies. This looks like the hallway in, in Boletaria 1-1 one, one where the uh, rock comes rolling down. Door is tightly closed. Okay. We're, let's see. You said to crisis but you wouldn't have a night without a nightmare uh i would be fine i i have i have sleep paralysis every night i do with this it's totally cool this ain't nothing oh uh Never mind. I know where I'm supposed to go. We need to go back to the the door with uh, you, right? Because that's what we unlocked when we uh, unlocked everything, basically, right? We we fought the ghosts, and then it just ended up being uh, it, it showed us the talisman burning. It was this, right? Am I wrong? Oh wait, no, hold on. No, that is not where I want to go. I do not want to go to that area. Uh, what was I doing? Hmm. I don't think this is where I want to go. I think I want to go back to that big room. Oh, I'm dumb. I just walked back into the same room. Oops. Uh, Tooth Had to Cry says, speaking of sleep paralysis, I used to have it back then on like a regular basis to the point. I know how to wake myself up without any help. Uh, yeah, me too. I, I have a sleep disorder that causes my uh, sleep phases to be really weird. And I get sleep paralysis basically every single time I sleep. Um, which is awful. But also, I'm used to it. So it's not that bad. There's going to be more Type 14 film here, I hope. Uh, I get, yeah, so I get sleep paralysis almost every single time I sleep. Over time, it has gotten less scary. Um, it's never comfortable, but it's never bad either for me. Okay, cool. Okay, we okay, so we can go to the Humoro Mansion. Interesting. So Ray has the oh god, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna have to fight the, the master of the house again, aren't I? Hate the sound mixing right now. Hate this breathing sound I'm hearing. <laughs> Help me. Help me, stream. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, are we headed? Any items? No items. All I'm here for is items. Oh, oh, perfect. The sleeping stone, engrave. Uh,
Dope. Let's see. So we can't go backwards. Dang. Uh, how do we do this? I think this one has to go there, right? How many spaces does this give us? This gives us three spaces to work with. We need to move this three times. Right? Okay, so that's taken care of. Now we have an extra space to deal with. We can just move this up here. This. Uh, and uh, go here, I guess. That goes there. That goes there. Cool. Oh, OK. Hey, we did it. There we go. Oh, great. Just great. Let's go, let's go. An old book was left behind where the ghost was, Moria Tome 3. After the unleashing happened, the priestess who wandered loose from the Chamber of Thorns roamed about the manor as if in a dream. Those passages the priestess entered were engulfed by the rift and fell into darkness. The rift shrine is a hidden shrine that ensures that the priestess wanders forever and never escapes. And the rift does not spill forth. Right? That just... That just... Did I just skip this fight, basically? It looked like there were, there were, like, multiple of them. Did I just kill the one I needed to kill and... That's it? That's the whole fight? I'm a little bit let down. I feel like I, I got screwed over there a little bit. Bedding has been thrown down untidily inside the closet. The bedding is damp and rotten, giving off a foul smell. Okay, well, can't all be winners. Probably a man could move it. A big, strong man. Ooh, sacred water. Hey, we got a sacred water back. Nice. That's where we came from. What, <laughs> what did this do for us? Oh, that broke the, the sigil, I think. That broke the sigil, so now we can go back to where you was dang not bad good job us talk about an expedient boss fight we're actually getting good at this game too sad to cry says I feel like K is so useless to the point the game decided to make him the only one that can move big stuff yeah literally <laughs> I know I was making fun of it last time, but I low-key kind of like her fit. It is kind of a cute cardigan. I, th I do think the open back is a little bit extra, but... <laughs> <laughs> Apollo says she has priorities, Toaster. I guess so.
I mean, she is quite literally a supermodel as far as this game is concerned. She's like taller than every other character, dreams in heels. It's in the middle of winter and she's wearing uh, basically a completely open backed sweater with three, four sleeves and capris. What a goon. Oh, it's, it's probably the door over here. Why are they called hours? Why are the chapters called hours? That's what I want to know. An image of something has been caught in the photo. But I just did that, didn't I? What? I'm so confused. Did I just not get all of them? Did I only kill one of them? Do I ha how many of these guys do I have to fight? All right, so we have to find three more of those guys then, I guess. Is there anything in here? Yeah, there are four of them, but I just, I thought, I don't know. I guess I, I thought the talisman burning was, was showing me the truth, but I guess not. Also, hello, new viewers, people. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's continue, see where we have to go from here, because I guess, I guess I'm going to have to fight four of them. I hate that. Yeah, that is not a great sound. I was not a fan of that whatsoever. All right, so that's going to be a shortcut, I think, to that room. I guess I just have to fight those men. I have to find the three more of them. Oh, hey. Cool. No, herbal medicine. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> Two Set to Crisis ASMR. It did have like a slight ASMR quality to it, but. All right. Oh, projector room again. Okay. Sand mint. I don't know if we've seen this one yet. Oh, yuck. It's pretty grim. All right. Well, that didn't give me anything, so that's annoying. <laughs> Apollo says you just don't appreciate good art. Yeah, that that's how it is. I'm anti-art. Go over here, see if this triggers any of them to appear. Very good. So we're back in this area. Sacrificial film tells you where their places are. I thought the sacrificial pillars film just showed me pictures of like girls nailing stakes into people. Uh, I also don't recognize many of the rooms. <laughs> so it's a little bit hard. Let's go check though. Oh my god, these little girls. 
Bros again. Fight me, I, I, I dare you. I like kind of... It's fine, I'll grind level up points off of you. Not very pog now, is it? All right. Um, sacrificial pillars. That's the one we need. Let's check. All right. So that's the room I was just in. That's the hallway. That's the brazier room. I thought I already beat him there. So did I beat two of them? And that's the entryway? Okay. So I already beat someone in the room, or I took pictures of the guy in the tatami room with the brazier. I beat the one with the beds. So I think that means this area of the mansion is the only place left. Uh, I need to, to fight the one in the entrance, and I need to fight the one downstairs near the... I want to say uh, notched arrow door? Does that sound right? Or the, no, the four point well. Yep. Go on, you can fight me. You can do this. Who needs to waste ammo on you? Pathetic. There's something on the ground. It's all my fault. I'm the one to blame. That's what it looked like that said. Oh, this is the little, uh, little passageway that I could not go through because I apparently am not able to crawl. My assumption is that's either a Miku or a K thing. All my fault. Never have survived to be flamed. That's the best way. To be blamed. Yep. Yeah, that's the entryway, so we'll just have to go there. Oh! Does the spirit stone radio allow me to hear things through my dreams? That's cool. That's not equal to me. Joint in the wall. I could try to move it, but it's shut tight. Could there be something inside? Yes. <laughs> that is the answer. Yes, there is something inside. You're welcome. Fight me. Two shot, two kill. Let's go. By that, I mean there was one kill, but still. Yeah, here we go. Shit, 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 Ow. Alright, tools. Herbal medicine. We'll keep it at four. Alright, so we have the shotgun film equipped. Got quite a few points for that one. Alright, so I was right. This area and the the entryway, I think. Ooh, yay! Uh, what looks like Chinese food. Indeed, Chinese food delivered to me. Moria Tome Two. When building or repairing the Kuze Shrine in the Last Passage, all the carpenters of the Moria family, except for their leader, must be prepared to stay behind, never to return. 
Excluding one who exceeds in their craft, all the carpenters must fulfill their duty to protect the secrets of the shrine by being buried as the sacrificial pillars lining it. The remaining Moria carpenter must become the master builder and ensure that their craft is carried on to the next generation. Alright, awesome. So we have Moria Tome 2 and 3. I didn't notice the other two though, so are we supposed to get a Moria Tome from every single one of them? Give me goodies. Everything inside is rotten away from the damp. Dang. None of those scares are ever going to get me, but... I don't remember where this leads. Oh, this is uh, up here. We did see the ghost girl walk this way, didn't we? Pretty sure we did. There's a joint in the floorboards, but it's held fast, and I can't get it open. Maybe it leads to something downstairs. Okay, so I still can't interact with that. Does Miku just get a crowbar? <laughs> That'd be great, huh? She just brains a ghost with a crowbar. The subtitles get brighter the closer we get. It, it's like telling me that there's something like right here. Looks like this might have been an important person's room. What is this trying to signify to me? Look, the, sub, the subtitles get brighter the when we like turn towards that read room but i can't enter that room oh yeah i can't go this way hmm Kagawa. No, thank you. I mean, maybe I should fight her? I should probably fight her, right? Is that a thing? Is that a thing I should do? Did I just lose my chance? I probably lost my chance. That's fine.
I'm gonna try to trigger that fight again. I, I shouldn't have run from her, I should have fought her. In my head, she was just a regular enemy. But maybe I'll get her, like, spirit stone or something for doing this, so... What do I need to take a picture of? Is it this? Was that it? That startled me a little bit, but... Is that all that was? <laughs> Apollo says, Toaster does not face silently spooked. I mean, I was expecting something weird to happen, so. I have no idea what the deal is there. Oh, nice. More Ted 14. Oddly peculiar uh, format needed. You're different from me. Anata ga chigao no? My, I can't go in there. Okay. Oh wait, is that isn't that where the door is? Why can't I? Oh, I can't go back through here. Can I? Dang. <clears throat> Alright, so I just have to find a way to get back to the entrance corridor now, I guess. Right? But that's like, that's right here, isn't it? Do I just go this way? Yeah, okay, perfect. Isn't this the room? Yep! Oh shit, I did not want to use all of that ammo. 
wait, did that not, is this not everything, I, is that not what I needed? I thought this was the area I was supposed to go to. No? I'm gonna, I thought this was the area. Do we need to go back this way? Doesn't seem like it. Is there anything here? There are bars on the wall by my feet and cold air blowing in from the other side. It looks like there's another corridor on this side of the wall. Wait, is there something on the wall? Uh, that's really creepy. What the heck? Maybe it's this way? Oh, that looks, that reminds me, I should probably heal myself. Oh, there's blood, perfect. Oh shit. just happened there, but... <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. Ah! This does so much damage, though. Ah. Ah, shoot. I missed. No. Phew. The old book is left behind where the ghost was, Moria Tome 4. The Rift Shrine makes a priestess wander for eternity, and stakes must be used to impale her limbs while praying for her peaceful rest. When the priestess is restless, it is necessary to build on to the Shrine of Sleep and pray for her to slumber. The Shrine of Sleep is sealed within a dream to prevent the priestess from escaping and the spread of the rift. To keep the rift from spreading, we must ensure that she stays staked down and pray for her eternal sleep. Alright, we broke all four seals. Alright, this is the notched arrow uh, one. Interesting. Okay. God, that's some creepy shit up there. Uh, this way we want to go. I just have to walk the whole way back. See if we can upgrade my camera at all. 32,000 points. Yeah, we can definitely upgrade the camera. Uh, what do I want to... Upgrade. Sensitivity. Give it some sensitivity training. Don't care about upgrading slow. Should I upgrade flash? Cause a ghost to withdraw if you power up number of uses increases. Doesn't seem that useful, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so we, we managed to kill all those guys. That's cool. Let's save really quickly because I'm at pretty low health. So I guess not fighting Takigawa was probably a good, good idea because if she isn't a required encounter there, then we just kind of saved ammo by not fighting her. I probably, I mean, I probably could have gotten some uh, experience points for doing it, but like, at the end of the day, who cares? <laughs> We're getting pretty close, cool.
Huh. Alright, let's see. Where do we want to go? Is it right here? It's just the... I think it's the door. Right. No. This has been a uh, productive level. I feel like we've opened a lot of doors. We've traversed a very expanded hotel. I am not fighting whatever is in here. Just zero percent chance of that happening. Oh god, never mind. I guess I am. That was uh, shocking. <laughs> uh, okay, we're good now though. We can just go to the outside. Is that this way? No, it's up. It's just it's just straight north. Okay. Then we get to go through the door. Yay! All right, that was a really long-winded chapter, actually. Wow. Yeah, uh, two set of crisis, two shots, and you're done. Uh, Ray is OP. Yeah, completely agree. She's just so much better than the rest of the the characters. I mean, Miku seems like she's she's pretty strong, right? Yashiro uh, Fujireba. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Yashiro means, like, a vengeful god, I think, right? It's the name of a vengeful god. I could be wrong. I think the Ya in Yashiro stands for eight, though. Character. Nice. Got some musky film. Got some straight-up stinky film, y'all. Phone can wait. God, this house is huge. <laughs> I screen my calls, ghosts. You have to. You have to wait for me to develop film. I do like the immersion of the fact that the phone call continues, to, or the phone continues to ring while I'm just like slowly developing film. In this photo, a group of men are standing in a line around some kind of sacred tree. It looks like a commemorative photograph. So that must be one of the trees that the, the human pillars, the sacrificial pillars were buried under, right? Intriguing. This house has such a nice dreamlike quality. It would be good if you died. Okay. Um, I guess it could have said it, it could mean it would be better if I died, but I don't have the context to know. Miku chan. Seems like she's having another bad dream. Let me just creep on you while you're sleeping.
That's for my private collection. Hmm. a spooky sound. Did I unleash ghosts in the house again? Do I have to Silent Hill 4 the room it in here? I'm impressed by those cloth physics, by the way. That was weird. Why couldn't I take a picture? I saw the feet. I guess in the house, they just disappear, don't they? To Santa Cry says, I can't tell if Ray is only a photographer. She must be a real estate agent or something. Yeah, I mean, the only explanation for how she can afford this house is that like someone in her family died and owned it because there's no way she gets to own this house on, on a salary uh, a photographer salary in the middle of like uh where where did it say the where the first game takes place she's woke up prefecture there's zero chance absolutely zero chance that she can afford this home in a city uh this is an absurd absurdly huge japanese house Is the cat pissed? Is the, pet, is the cat gonna let me pet it this time? Are you kidding me right now? After all I went through, won't even give me moral support. I'm so confused why that sound like pops up right there and only right there. <laughs> Kind of funny. Bright colored scroll hangs over the window. Is that really bright colored? <clears throat> you said to cry, says, I remember the cat's name is Ruri. That's cute. Judy. Miku. Seems like she's having a bad dream. Yeah, well, damn straight. I guess we go back to bed. That's not Kizuna. No, that's Kizuna, right? Or is that... I think she said Kizuna wo taskete, which means save Kizuna. The Hanging Prison. Oh, that's skin. That's tattooed skin. Huh. Several candles on the inner wall where a tattooed human skin is enshrined. I've seen copies of body tattoos in books, but this looks like real skin. The skin is worn and in shreds, but the pattern of the tattoo is clear and unfaded. Looks like the limbs have been nailed to the wall with sharp stone spikes. 
pork. Out of a small shrine-like altar, there is a mounted pedestal with four indentations. The ancient script engraved on the pedestal. Obtain the four purity stones by the handmaiden's song. Subdue the waking of the priestess in the chamber of needles. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to subdue her. I kind of, I'm kind of all for just chilling. Chilling with the sleeping priest priestess sounds like a cool idea. Can I get a picture of her? Like maybe over here? He's not, come on. Maybe I can get her face in the picture and it will let me take one. She is like, her head is tilted to the side, right? He's not, he's not Chan. Smile for me. Nope, okay, well. Can't say we didn't try. Did I get it? I did. Yeah, I can't make out what's being said. Uh <clears throat> hmm. Which way which way am I going? Probably this way. I think I might be able to explore the small area that Ray can't get into because she's too leggy. Uh, I think I can explore that area with Niku. Mm, I hate how the doll's head tracks me. Yuck. That's an old dialect. That's a that's a weird way to say lie still sleeping princess. Definitely doesn't sound like any any dialect I've ever studied. So it's either super old or from a very specific region. Wait. Kochi, come here. Low on the wall is an open door leading under the floor. It's pretty narrow, but maybe I can squeeze through. Okay, she can crawl. So Miku's, uh, Miku's strength is that she tiny. Double. Kinasaki's special ability charges spirit power twice. Oh, uh, if you continue pressing the X button, you can charge your spirit power in two stages. Shoot by releasing the X button. The greater the charge, the greater the damage you can inflict. So wait, can I do that with R1 as well? Because that's the button I use to do this. All right, so that closed on me. This is a spooky texture. Look at this. It looks like a face. It looks like a face that's like awkward pogging. It's like a creepy pasta pog. Oh, cool. I can hold... Uh, square to move forward here. Oh, dear lord. 
What in the sweet mother of God was that? Is he still here? Is he coming for me? Oh, okay. Ah. Get out of here, lizard lady. Ah, not what I tried to press. All right, this is a kind of goofy fight. <laughs> this fight's hard because she's just too close to me. And I can't, I can't move while I'm shooting because my right stick controls, uh, right stick controls my, my flashlight for some reason. Nope. Nope. What the heck? I'm, I'm pressing the shoot button. I guess she just doesn't do damage, which is nice. This is doing a lot of damage to me for no reason. Get out of here. What? That didn't count? I'm gonna die to this. <laughs> Get wrecked. That was a waste of ammo. And a horrible waste of resources. Oh, and I don't even have sacred water for Miku. Whatever, I got I got the thingy though. On the candlelit art altar is a beautiful jewel about the size of my palm. Birdie Stone L. Two Sides of Crisis. I don't know about you, but she's one of my favorite ghosts. She creeps the hell out of anyone. Yeah, she's she's creepy, but she's annoying. <laughs> very, a very annoying ghost. All right, there's a book on the altar. Green Diary. Amane led the man into the shrine. The head of the family is so angry. If the priestess wakes up, the commandment will be broken and the rift will spread. The family head teaches all the handmaidens so hard so that they won't forget their duties. The head of the family ordered that Amane be impaled uh, and that her brother be cast out of the manor. I lost my place for a second. Because of the duties of the handmaidens and the duties of the Kuze shrine, there was no other choice. Amane, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a ladder. Uh, or wait, was that? Okay. Yep. This game is is here to hurt me this time. Not what I was trying to do. Oh my god, it negative edges now. That's scary. I'm gonna accidentally. I'm gonna accidentally hit that button. <laughs>
So we beat her. Wait, is there not an area I can leave from here? Which way did I come from? Door to the top of the ladder leading into the space under the floor, but the trap door is heavy and I can't open it from this side. Okay. I saw it. Didn't it blow glue just now? Blow blue, not blow glue. <laughs> this way? Over here? it over there but it seems like oh do I have to like go over here and then look into the broken section is that what it wants me to do That seems to be the hot spot right there. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay, that's a weird ghost location. Haunted Pog. Is that what that was? All right, not sure what that gave me, but. We're doing all right right now. Wait, isn't this where the, the murder was that we looked down on? So this is the ceremony room, right? Hmm. Oh, oops, there's a light, something, something. Maybe they were used for some kind of ceremony. In the room I looked into from the roof, sacks shaped like people were hanging. On the floor by an altar was a big red black blood stain. What? Yeah, what purpose could this room serve? I don't know, like sacrificial murder? Like that sounds like the, the purpose. It seems, it seems very clear to me, Ray. The sledding lock fastened on the door. We do open the lock. Not bad. Oh, for God's sake. Go. Good 
cradle pin. Oh, she has like ropes in her eyes. That's gross. Yeah, Miku Miku's pretty good, I feel like, in comparison to K. K truly is just a just a worthless pile of man trash. He's just a little kitten man. Like one of the devs' kids or something. So far, I think this is very easily my favorite Fatal Frame. Ooh, I should check the, uh, the hallway here. Right, because there's, there's always been like an herbal medicine here. Yeah, okay, so that confirms my theory that, uh, Certain items respawn every single time you start a new chapter, and especially when you switch characters, so. Two Set to Cry says, do you think these kinds of ceremonies happened in real life back then? Um, no, uh, yes and no. Um, lots of horrible things happened in the past, especially in, in Japan, um, when it came to like folk religion in, in remote villages. Um, I, I don't really think a lot of this particular stuff would happen like like the amount of superstitious folklore of like you know oh we sacrificed a priestess and like buried her tree under er, her soul underneath the ceremonial trees like stuff like that actually wasn't super prolific because the Japanese uh, historically uh, genuinely did believe in ghosts <laughs> so doing things that would harm people and, and mar their bodies before death was seen as like a very bad thing in like ancient Japanese history so do I think this sort of thing happened maybe in the far past but uh, in general no this kind of folklore didn't really persist uh, in the way that we often get depicted in like urban legend myth stories stuff like that his parting gift was a forbidden child the child had handsome features just like he did if he stays in this place, they'll cast him away once he turns four. I have to find a way to sneak him into the village below before then. If I give him the earring his father gave me, I'm sure someday he will be able to come back. He'll be able to hear my voice. I may even be able to see his father again if he finds this earring. I'll name the child Kaname to symbolize our connection. Kaname. That's a really interesting name for a boy. Uh, I know this child will come back with his father. Kaname. That's such a feminine name. This bee is back. Get out of here. Ah. God, she does so much damage. Ah, I hate how it negative edges. They can't just, uh, I wish it was just one or the other, because now it triggers on negative edge and press. Where the heck is she? Oh, that's why it was her projectile.
Get out of here. Throwing heads at me. Hair at me. Switch to type 60. <laughs> oh, I hate this. What the? Uh, this particular ghost in this particular room is a real pain. Did she disappear? What in the world? Never had a ghost run away from me before. So Two Set to Cry says, because as far as I know, the producer said it was based on true events happened to him. Not to forget how they kept mentioning based on a true story if you played Fatal Frame 1. Uh, that's actually a misconception. So the producer of the first game said that he had he has had supernatural feelings ever since he was a child. So he would he's brought up that he like walked into houses and felt like there were spooky ghosts around him. And he wanted to channel that fear. Uh, and so he channeled the the aspect of like walking around in a spooky place that you that's like abandoned and feeling uncomfortable by it uh the western marketing was then took that and put based on a true story in the game the game is not actually based on any true story uh however Himuro mansion is in fact based on a real location uh that place did not have any murders happen in it at all it's just an abandoned mansion in Shizuoka. Um, and it's actually a really popular spot for urban exploration. So there's lots of pictures of it on the internet, which is how they based, uh, how they modeled the house. All right, so we did that again. What we get for doing that. Oh, it just broke the talisman. What talisman did it break? Oh, I just wasted good film on that too. I'm actually like really low on film right now. I really don't like Miku's uh, ability. And yeah, 95% of the time, so this is like a piece of, uh, this is just like a film thing. So, uh, People don't know this, but I, I worked in film for uh, quite a while. It's kind of my my wheelhouse. And uh, so usually when things say based on a true story, they're not actually based on a true story. They just, it's just a way of gussying up the marketing. Uh, it has to do with the laws around nonfiction. You like legally don't need to things don't actually need to be verifiably true for you to claim that they're true as long as you say that you felt a certain way uh so that's how that's how like games that are quote unquote based on a true story or movies that are quote unquote based on a true story uh, end up getting that label is it usually just means like there is there's a piece of dialogue in the movie that is true or or like is a quote from someone like, as long as one thing in the film or the game, like, comes from something real, they can claim the whole thing is based on a true story. Uh, one of the most egregious examples is uh, the, I believe the movie is Cabin Fever, I want to say. 
which claimed to be based on a true story, but really the true story is just sometimes people go to the woods and there have been murders in cabins before. Like that's literally the entire the entire thing. So because it's not anything that needs to be verified, you can just mark it around that and it's fine. At least legally speaking, in the West. Not to uh, ruin the illusion too hard for too many people. I'm not trying to be a sourpuss about it. It just is the way it is. Oh wait, uh, can Miku go this way? Wait, which way do I want to go? That brings me to the storehouse. I don't want to go there. I want to, yeah, I want to go this way. Oh, it says, honestly, my entire world is in shambles from this revelation. Sorry, buddy. What? Alright. Uh. Oh, no. Yeah, I do. I want to go the opposite direction. Okay. Is this Takigawa? Oh no, it's the other lady. I don't care to fight her. Good Cat says, I thought based on a true story had been considered a cynical joke in media for decades now. I mean, yeah, basically, right? Uh, because of the lack of regulation around what is verifiable and unverifiable. You are really harsh in my vibe, girl. I. I'm really not appreciative of what's going on here. I do not have enough ammunition to fight you like this. That is not fair. She was behind me, and then all of a sudden she was behind me again. What? It's my first death. Ugh. That's a brutal way to go out. Dang. The last time I saved was, was before the end of the last chapter. All right, folks. Uh, I think that covers it for today. I think we'll we'll take a break. That was an all right, all right place to stop anyway. Next time we'll go through. We'll do that section better. I really don't want to waste all of my uh, waste all of my my film <laughs> anyway, and my uh, my healing items. So we'll get a do over on that chapter next time around. Uh, I think that they should be able to. Uh, I think we should be able to get through. Uh, this this part without too many uh deaths and, and pain points next time so uh as always thanks so much for watching the stream it's basically uh the end of my night so i hope you all have a wonderful evening and as always thanks for thanks for playing fatal frame with me uh we will talk to you all tomorrow peace out everyone <laughs>